To progress in any career, especially in tech industry, you need to learn lots of new things and do it fast. You cannot just stop learning, otherwise you will become unclaimed and out of the job pretty soon. And as we all limited with the hours we can dedicate for that, you have to be very efficient in the learning process. If you're new here, I'm Roman, engineering manager with around 12 years of overall experience in software development. I've been working as a backend engineer and mobile engineer in areas like finance, computer vision, image editing, NLP, AR, graphics, and others. And in this video, I want to walk you through three main strategies you need to do for right, fast, and efficient learning process. Let's go. As I mentioned before, I changed crafts a couple of times, learned new application areas, and used many programming languages during my career. I studied basics of the machine learning in order to implement model inference on the mobile device. So I used to be in a newbie's position quite often when I need to learn something new. And here I will share with you three main strategies I developed and used over the years to do the learning in an efficient way. And by efficient, I mean using less time and improving material absorption. Every strategy you will see here will improve your learning process by a certain percentage. So if you take at least one strategy or one tip from this video, you will see how your learning process is improved. Even small improvement is always better than zero change. And I do believe that every significant change is just a collection of lots of the small improvements. Now let's go over strategies. The first one is commit to schedule and effort. There is a common advice you can find in many places to commit to a specific goal. For example, to learn a new programming language or to lose 10 kilograms. I do agree that you need to have long-term goals as they serve as a lighthouse. But what if I tell you that my commitment is to learn Go programming language? What does it mean to learn until what level? Plus, it might sound overwhelming when you want to dive into something new. Instead, to fulfill your goal, you need to commit to schedule and effort you're willing to dedicate. Committing to do something on a daily basis won't be so overwhelming. You will be focusing on following schedule and progressing baby steps. And over time, you will get better. For example, for my YouTube channel, I have a goal to grow it into a noticeable one. But I want it to be a place where I can share my expertise and my knowledge and other people can benefit from it. But this goal is huge for a newbie YouTuber like me. Instead, I did a commitment for myself to upload 4 videos per month or 1 video per week. Always focusing on one video is way easier than thinking about how I can build a noticeable channel. I do not fulfill that always, but following this commitment helps me to continue. Three videos from four during the month is way better than zero uploads. But I already see that some of my videos giving the value to other people, which is my long-term goal. Same I have with learning new technical material. Recent course that I finished fully last year was FastAI Practical Deep Learning for Coders. By the way, I highly recommend that course, it's very practical driven. So my commitment was to watch one lecture per week and do the homework same time. So every week I have been focusing on one specific topic from that course. And if I would try to watch the full course as soon as possible and rush through it, I would never finish it at all. With following the commitment I did for this course, I fully finished it last year. Doing baby steps every day is way better than trying to overcome the distance all at once. So the next time you want to learn something new, like new program language, commit to a schedule and hours you want to dedicate during the week. And follow that. And especially in the beginning you might feel that you are doing very little progress. But over time you will see how much you have studied and done. And you will achieve way more than most of the people who are trying to rush through the learning process. So focus on the small steps and do it consistently. It will pay you back in the future. Next one is learn via experience. I know from my experience that the best way to suck in and absorb new information is to apply it. Now, don't get me wrong, the theory is crucial and we all need it. But here's the deal, if you're only consuming the content like attending the lectures, watching courses, reading the books without applying that knowledge, it's like trying to fill a leaky bucket. Sure, it might expand your information bubble, but there is a good chance it won't stick. I have another video on how to explore your unknown unknowns and expand your information bubble. The key to truly absorbing new information is to get your hands dirty with it. Let's say you're learning a new programming language, new technology or a new framework. Don't just passively consume the information, you have to put it into action immediately. For the new technology, go ahead and write some program that uses it 
even if it's a small one. If it's a new programming language, do the same. Write some program that benefits you or your company if it's applicable. Or if you're diving into machine learning, create a small model. The magic happens when you touch the problems with your hands, feeling them on your fingerprints. That's when the information starts to stick. So remember, it's not just about the learning, it's about doing and experiencing. Then you can revisit the theory with hands-on experience and you will see this theory from very different angles. Take a look at school or universities. Most of them teach you lots of the theory with practice that is not usually connected with the real-life tasks. I don't know your experience, but when I came out of the university I had to spend a couple of years learning how I can apply that knowledge. I'm not saying that this information was useless, but I really understood most of it only when I tried to apply it to solve concrete tasks after university. Try to use new information as fast as possible, it will boost absorbing of it quite a lot. Third strategy is repetition is the mother of study. This is what I've been told when I was a kid. But I understood that concept only when I started to work and I had real necessity to learn new things to apply it. There are two parts here. First, information you learn gets forgotten over time. This phenomenon has a name and it's called forgetting curve. It represents how information is lost over the time when there is no attempt to retain it. After a couple of days you will remember only a small percentage of the original information. You can see that on the chart, with every next repetition the forgetting curve gets closer to be a straight line. It represents that this information will stay longer with you comparing to the first attempt. Second, you need to repeat the theory several times in order to see this information from a different perspectives. Especially if you combine that with the previous strategy. You learn something new, you try to apply it and then you revisit the theory. Next time you will see the same information from the different perspective. Especially after you tried to use that. For example, when I took FastAI course, I watched some lectures several times. With every next repetition I understood more comparing to the previous time. And you might ask, how you can use that in practice? When you study something new, do not feel bad to watch or read the same information a couple of times, or use different sources for the same topic. For example, you want to learn new programming language by watching some online courses. You can find three different courses like Python for beginners. First, you will repeat the information and it will absorb better. Second, different authors will highlight different aspects of the programming language. In general, the information will be the same, but with some small deviations, which is good. Again, repetition is the mother of study. In the end, I want to share with you three small but powerful tips to enhance the effect from described strategies. First, study every day. It's not the same as the last strategy. Here I mean you need to develop a habit to learn new things on a daily basis. For example, you have a 10 hours course on the new technology. It's better to split these 10 hours into 10 sessions by 1 hour, rather than trying to split it into 2 sessions by 5 hours. I don't know about you, but for me it's easier to really focus for 1 hour rather than trying to focus for 5 hours. Next, try to explain new information to another person. The trick is that you can explain something to another person only when you really understand it. You have to rephrase it and you have to answer the questions. If you don't have anybody to listen to this, try to write an article about it. I'm not saying that you should publish it. Just extract that information from your mind into the written form. Because if you don't understand something, most likely you won't be able to write it clearly. And last but not least, sleep. Taking care of your sleep is very important in many ways. But it's important for learning process too. And if you feel very sleepy, don't try to learn something new. Just take a nap or go for the full sleep and try again when you feel more energetic. It will make the process more efficient. From what I remember from my time at university, the first lecture at 8 am was the most useless. Almost all, including me, felt sleepy and it was very hard to follow new material. So, take care of your sleep, it will benefit you in many ways, including the learning process. These are my strategies and tips I'm using to make the learning process efficient. 
Again, if you take at least one tip or one strategy from this video, I will be happy already. But I see all of this as one whole system. You want to learn something new. Then you commit to a schedule and effort you're willing to apply. You do it consistently, ideally every day. You do repeat it as much as needed and you apply it as fast as possible in order to get hands-on experience. You sleep and you repeat. And all of this combined creates a system of how you can learn practically everything. Well, everything in tech industry for sure. This system works really good for me and I know people who use basically the same approach. So if you're struggling to learn something new for some time, take this video as a sign and try this. I will be glad to hear any feedback from you, feel free to leave it in the comments. Plus, you will find some useful links in the video description to other videos, don't hesitate to watch them. As usual, thank you for watching, I hope it was useful and now you know what to do. See you next time.